how to read a staff. The first thing is we have to locate the person holding the staff through your dumpy level. At the top, you'll see there's a little aim. You'll just aim with your one eye, make sure that it's centered, try and line it up with your staff on the other side. Once it's more or less in line, you can now move closer and fine tune it with this basic turn screw. All right, we are exactly on the dumpy level. How to adjust the focus? By turning this knob, we can adjust the focus and just make sure that we can see the staff 100%. As you can see, there's measurements that range from 0, 0 up to 1 meter. Starting from here, this will indicate from a meter going up higher. It looks like an invisible E. Every E is equals to 5 centimeters. So the white E is 5 centimeters and the red E is also 5 centimeters. So when you read a staff, for example, if we have got a reading that is here, We'll say this is 1.2, because it's past the 5 mark, we'll say it's 1.255, if it's more or less in the center of that next E. So that will be more or less how you read a staff. If you would like more detail about the measurement of reading a staff, you can always read the back side of the staff which will give you a clear indication of the exact millimeters where your measurement falls. Welcome to another Dumpy Level Theory training session. In today's training, we'll discuss more about how to read your Dumpy Level staff. We'll discuss how to aim the Dumpy Level in the correct direction to locate your staff, as well as the benefits and why we do that. And we'll be speaking about taking a reading on the staff and then the benefit of reading the back of the staff. Let's dive deeper. So why do we use the dumpy level and aim it in the correct direction before we start? Well, the reason is simple. If you do not focus or try and put your dumpy level in the correct direction first, you're going to waste a lot of time in the field. So the first thing is aim your dumpy level at your staff before you start looking through your optical lens. The next thing is to make sure that your visual is not blurry. We never take a dumpy level reading if your focus is not crystal clear. Why? If we take a reading while the visual is not crystal clear, you might end up wasting a few millimeters per reading and at the end of the day, if you have done a level traverse, your levels will kick by a few centimeters. So always important to really make sure that your visual is 100% clear and that your reading that you're taking and writing down is 100% correct. Once you've taken down the reading, it's always crucially important to make sure by looking at the reading again, making sure that it is in actual fact the reading that you have written down or that you have taken down. So always double check your work. We as surveyors always double check. On that point, let's look at more detail on how to read the staff correctly. So as you have seen in the video, we spoke about an E. It's either a white E or a red E, depending on your staff. Some staffs might be in different colors. But each E is represented by 5 centimeters. So make sure that you can divide the, the 5 centimeters into 1 centimeter spaces. So each part in the E is represented as a centimeter. So if you are able to look at your staff, and you can divide that one centimeter into 10 small pieces. That's where you actually want to get to make sure that you can take actual accurate readings. If you can't divide the one centimeter pieces into 10, try and just identify and make the one centimeter pieces divided into two. So what this means is you have five millimeters at the top, five millimeters at the bottom, and then estimate using that method. If you see that it's in the bottom half of the 5 millimeters, then obviously it's 1 to 5. If it's in the top half of your 5 millimeters, then it's anything from 6 to 10 millimeters. So it's just easier to actually locate 
the readings and make sure that your readings are not incorrect. Then by moving the staff backwards and forwards slowly, you can also take a, me a reading without making use of a bubble. So you'll just aim and move the staff forwards and backwards and you'll take the reading at the lowest reading that you can see. That will in fact be a level and corrected reading. If you are making use of a bubble, do not take a reading if the bubble is not 100% correct. Let's look at the next point. The benefit of reading the back of the staff. So why do we use the back? It's just more precise and more accurate and it takes away the guessing of having to divide the bigger E's into smaller pieces. So it takes about the guessing completely so that you know exactly what the reading is to the closest millimeter. There is some disadvantages. It can only be used over short distances and is not usable over longer distances. So in that cases, you'll always return back to your front face of your staff. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.